Some companies have a Splunk system where some of the logs are actually being sent to. And instead of having to also send the logs from the different log sources into Curator, there is a new app which is called uh, Splunk Data Forwarding that allows you to precisely get those logs into Curator straight from Splunk. So I downloaded the app from the App Exchange and I went here and added the token. How you get the token? You actually go here into Manage Authorizations, uh, here Authorize Services. You can add a new one. If you add a new token, you need to deploy the changes. So you can take whichever is appropriate and you select it by copying only this portion in here. You do copy and that's what I pasted down here, right? Now, after having done that and I have the Splunk server uh, configuration data, you need to get that from your, uh, your Splunk administrator. I actually went into the Splunk forwarding me actually I delete the whole thing to to do it from the beginning so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Splunk instance which in my case it is this machine in these credentials you'll get from your Splunk administrator and you click add and if those credentials are okay you get that successful message added. Now, so you, in here, you, you are going to get whatever is it that Splunk is collecting, you will get a list of the files that you are interested in in here. In my setup, I only have this source of, uh, of uh, logs but again, this is going to be different in your environment. So I click in here, and this is actually replaying all the logs that get put into this uh, Splunk underscore log syslog file. So I'm selecting that one, and I click in Add and Close. When you do that, you get this forward thing in here with the number one, you need to click and you need to agree that you're going to bring in all that data into Curator. You click Next and now this is the sequence. You select here, specify the port in Curator and that's my Curator instance. Of course 514 is the port. You click Set, you click Next and you click Finish and You get that successful message and you get this error message 111 which actually you can ignore and if you refresh in here that message will go away. Now you need to click in here on and this and any other log sources that you want and you click here add. And you get again another forward one in here that you need to agree. Click next. Same as before. Select the port 514. Set next finish. When that completes, you are going to have in here these two entries okay that's basically all you have to do now we can actually see those events coming into Curera as if it would have come directly to it in fact auto discovery the same things that worked uh, with when logs are sent directly to Curera works exactly in the same way in here these are the events that have been coming from 
the uh, Splunk instance that we have seen them here, different type. Most of them are from Symantec. Let's keep on looking. And so here you have it. Simple way of not having to resend the logs directly to Curator. The Curator app, which is called Forwarder, it's a, it's a name is a little strange because what it actually does is it goes into Splunk and pull retrieves the logs in the same way that we do when we retrieve logs that comes from the cloud.